Now there's two points I want to get over in this video. The first point is about gluing down insulation and all the problems that we have with gluing it down and all the forethought that has to go into doing that. The second point is storage of insulation and the moisture that can get into it when it's being delivered or when it's on site. So before I go into that, listen to this insulation coming up and see what you think. As I'm concerned if you look at the back of this that's probably only got about 25% addition and and when you listen to it came up it came up quite quite hard listen to this one this sounds like it's coming up quite hard okay now look at the back of that you know hardly any of that is stuck down and that's on the perimeter so we we must think about what we call wind uplift I mean is there enough addition to that to, to stop wind uplift I'd, I'd like to talk to an engineer about that and say look is there enough glue and how do you feel this has worked and when you look at this whole roof that we're doing here taking it up and it's just so you know it's not one of ours this is a roof that went wrong and we're having to strip it but it's a good opportunity of showing you um, the the glue and how this works I mean if you look at it it's bringing off the backing off of the insulation as well um, and this is a, a tissue faced insulation rather than a foil faced and foil faces which I'm going to go into later have got their problems of being stuck down as well you know, another question to be asked while we're looking at this did they use enough glue underneath this and I personally don't think they have I mean they have used the glue they've squiggled it out left right and center all over the place but they could have used probably another 25 percent more in the respect of glue on this roof now this is one of our roofs we did this a long time ago and as you can see I'm applying a lot more glue I've talked to the suppliers of the glue and they've said that their glue is compatible with this tissue faced insulation I've talked to the suppliers of the vapor barrier which is silver and hasn't got a grip to it and they said it's not a problem that will work with this glue so we went ahead and we did this on this particular roof and even before I did it I thought to myself I'll do a little test section and make sure it works so this is my test area uh, a piece of ply with the vapor barrier stuck over the top of it I then applied the adhesive over the top of that and put the insulation down walked over the top of it for five or ten minutes just so that uh, uh, the uh, insulation was was tight down onto the vapor barrier left it for a while and then tried to pull it apart and as you can see as I try and pull it apart it breaks it's, it's got a good bond to it so uh, you know I've done the best I can to test this and make sure it, it works so where did it all go wrong this is the problem that we had gluing this down failed I talked to all the suppliers and at the end of the day it was decided that the reason it failed is because there was too much moisture in the insulation therefore nobody took responsibility the in, the people supplying the insulation said it was our fault the people supplying the glue said there was too much moisture in the insulation that's why I like to now only use thermally broken fixings look at this one this is one that we did thermally broken fixings we're also under a tin roof here and everything is bone dry the insulation that's been delivered uh, is still in its packages but even when we did this one I didn't know what I know now and I didn't test it to make sure that there was uh, a correct moisture content in the insulation uh, you know knowing what I know now that's what I would do if I was having insulation delivered to site look at this this has been left outside now to me it hasn't been left outside for too long because it's it's still quite bright yellow but it's still been left outside if we look at this one dark yellow the UV rays have got to it it must have been outside for a long time so you know what can I say we even look inside the, the the plastic here you can see the moisture that is built up inside it the lessons I take from this are make sure you always take moisture measurements from your deliveries make sure you store everything well and in the dry and always fix everything with thermally broken fixings whenever you can because you can always trust those hopefully this video has been informative if you need any more information please get back to me